Hi everyone, I'm going to run through setting up an orthographic projection in 3ds Max. So let's just use a box as an example. We'll tailor the parameters to be um, the same. And then we want to use our move tool, so just hitting W. And you'll see that the object has a pivot point. Um, which is the point that the object moves from and rotates around. We can center this on the object by selecting Effect Pivot Only, Center to Object, and then deselecting Effect Pivot Only. So now that center point can become zero. We can take it there by entering those values down here. Otherwise, you could enter those values here as well. So now, I'm just hitting T to come to my top view, and I'm going to create a camera. I need this to be a targeted camera. I'm going to use my grid point snaps and activating my snaps, and I'm just dragging this out in a straight line. Now we need our target to be. I'll turn snaps off now. So let's move our target to be at 0, 0, 0. So it's on that pivot point of the object. And then we want our camera to be at 45, 45, 45. So it's at a direct um, projection with the, the center point. And then in the camera's target, we need to set this to be orthographic. And then let's come, let's give this a clear name. Let's call it orthographic camera. So you can see I've established that projection. Now I can use this tool here to dolly in and outwards whilst maintaining that projection. Okay, so things get a little bit more tricky when we want to set up the projection for our for our model because we need to create that center point at the center of the object, but every different object has a different center point. So we can use a couple of methods here. One is to use the edit poly and the attach tool to select the other objects, so now they can all move together as one object. Uh, so then affecting pivot only, center to object. We can then move our, uh, excuse me. Um, just switching off effect pivot only, we can then move our model to zero, zero, zero. Now we can go through those steps of creating a target camera again. We can do it without that snap. So sending the target to zero, 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 same as the pivot point, and sending the camera to 45, 45, 45. You'll notice that this time I didn't set this to be an orthographic projection yet, so I do that. And then we've established that correct projection that we're looking for. This may be a more difficult method if you've um, got a lot of assets in your model that you want to move because you would have to attach them all together. Um, you also want to be very wary of moving your model, so you want to make sure you're doing a save as, because, as, because it's destructive of the way the coordinate system is set up. So another method we could use where you had a lot of assets would to be create a clone of your um, of your model as a pure copy. So this is of the base train. I'll call it move tool because it's just a tool to help us create that projection. 
so I'll turn off my other one. I'm using, again, effect, effect pivot only, center to object. Turning that off. Using my move tool to take that center point to zero. And from there, creating the camera. Again, target camera. Sending the target to zero, zero, zero. Sending my camera to 45, 45, 45. And then what I can do is turn this back on. And I'm using my move tool, snap. I don't want grid point, I just want vertex. I'm gonna take it from the same vertex to the same vertex. So now the camera has that same relationship to the model. And we can take our move tool and delete it. We don't need it anymore. And just making sure we have our orthographic projection ticked. I'll dolly out. And we should have the same result that we had before, but you could use this method where you had a lot of other stuff that you didn't want to have to attach all together. This is also, also a non-destructive workflow as opposed to the first. So finally, if we wanted to take the angle of um, another corner, we just want to, um, select everything except our cameras, hit T to come into top view, and then I'm going to rotate Z 90 degrees, and it should take everything on the same rotation. And then if we were to enter the orthographic, it should give us another angle of the model, so you can test for one, test for one, works best for you, just bearing in mind that we have again stepped into the realm of um, being destructive in that we have actually rotated all of the geometry around the center point.